Man is a, is a company, uh, it's a third generation of machine builders in the, the agro sector. So they are creating these uh, big sprouts uh, harvester machines. They do other things as well, but this is like a very specific thing that they do. Um, also, not many companies do this in the world, uh, so they are quite uh, unique. At a certain point, as every company here uh, in, in Belgium and, and, and I think all over other countries also have seen that the last years it was it's really um, there is a really big jump towards software uh, and also uh, intelligent techniques on their machinery, and most of these companies don't have these things in house, and uh, that's that's when we, we come into play. So the use case here was that they wanted to have a sorting machine on their uh, sprout harvesters. Uh, so they wanted to uh, throw out all the bad sprouts and then keep the good sprouts. So they needed a selection or, or a way of select these uh, sprouts. The mechanical side they, they were able to do, so that was no problem. They, they are really experts in that. But then to the, towards the software, uh, that was I mean, that was something else. So we collect the data, and uh, at that time uh, we did some a pixel level classification. So we took all the data, we took all the sprouts out of it. Uh, here it's 800 images that we took, and we selected good zones in the sprouts and bad zones in the sprouts, and uh, that way we. we we started training an algorithm based on those pixels. So really the RGB levels of those pixels. The advantage is that we are quite flexible. Um, so uh, we can, I, we, we do a classification of these pixels and we say, okay, these pixels are good, these are bad. So we, over a whole sprout, uh, we are quite flexible on, 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 on changing the algorithm with heuristics. What is very important, let's say, for uh, for sometimes for farmers and for operators of these machines, that they can change the machine to their needs without a complete retraining of the algorithm. Um, and we also saw that that in, in the uh, the test that we have done, that we had quite good results. We had 49% uh, of accuracy. At that time, the competition had uh, 85%. Uh, so the competition of the month, of course, the, another big, uh, big builder of these machines. So we have a, we had a big advantage. So the, that was also a reason why they um, they had again uh, a really good, strong position in the market. Mm -hmm.